Welcome back to Slim Comics and more. Today I am going to show some more back issue. This is back issues part 50. So uh, waiting on my Minton books to come in. Uh, they've been slow on shipping for some reason. But uh, let's get started. Uh, first you got G.I. Joe, the a real American hero. This is issue number two from Image Comics. Uh, cover is by Jeffrey Scott Campbell. Uh, book is by Blaylock, Kurth, and Larder. Nice cover by Campbell. Okay, next up you got issue 21. This is the silent issue with uh, Snake Eyes. Next up you have Leonard Nimoy's Primordials. So this is Techno Comics. Techno Comics came out in the... Uh, the mid 1990s 1995 techno comics is a company that didn't really last that long um basically made up of um uh, writers and creators that wanted to do kind of like their own work like image but they didn't last that long uh, this is leonard nimoy's primordial it's a, a fun read like the character that uh, leonard nimoy created also uh concepts by isaac isimov decent cover next you got neil gaiman's mr hero the pneumatic man so neil gaiman he's a great writer and uh, this is his book uh, also introducing uh technophage came out in march of 1995 issue number one okay this is gene roddenberry's uh lost universe this one came out in april of 1995 and uh, cover art is by Bill Sankovich. Kind of like another uh, space, um, space concept-like story. So Gene Roddenberry, he's a creator of Star Trek. Okay, this is a Neil Gaiman's Wheel of Worlds. This one came out in July of 1995. This one is Neil Gaiman's Technophage. So this came out in August of 1995. Kind of like a dinosaur g lizard guy. This is John Jake's Milliken Empire. Pretty nice cover. And this one came out in September of 1995. Cool cover but uh yeah these uh, techno phases they didn't last that long then next up you have uh teenage mutant ninja turtles shredder in hell this is a uh, one out of uh 666 by uh scorpion comics this is the gabriel del auto this is the fire variant the virgin cover nice uh Nice cover by Del Auto of Shredder. Okay, this is Creed and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So this is from Lightning Comics, issue number one. So this is by Trent Kanuga. I, I believe that's how you pronounce his name, Trent Kanuga. He does similar artwork, kind of like uh, when I looked at it, it kind of looked like Todd McFarlane's artwork. But uh, he is a very young artist when he started this out. Pretty nice cover. And uh, he did some Ghost Rider, Marvel Knights Ghost Rider. This is um, by Devin Grayson, Trent Kanuga, and Danny Mickey. So this is uh, issue number three. Got issue number four. Got issue number five. Issue six. Up next, you have DEFCON 4. This is a by Image Comics, issue number one. So DEFCON 4 was created by Matt Broom. He's another uh, pretty good young artist. This is issue number one. And uh, they have uh, different uh, variants to issue number one also. This is another cover this is a issue number two 
Yeah, you picked this up from Blackthorn Publishing Incorporated. Uh, this is Nervous Rex by William Van Horn. Issue number one. Okay, you got from Calvary Press. This is Negative Burn. This is issue number one. Uh, mature audiences. Deceased number one. This is the cover C. This is a John Jang uh, Joker variant version. Also signed down there by John Jang. I believe I got his uh, autograph as C2E2. And this is Certificate of Authenticity. So this is uh, 464 of 500. Okay, next got some Wonder Man issues. This is issue number one. It's all newsstand. Got issue number two. Okay, you got issue number three. Issue four. Introducing Splice. All right. Next, got some Deflock books. This is a uh, Deflock issue number two. I had number one, but I'm not sure where I put number one. So this is issue number two. Got some multiple copies. Got issue three, going up against Doom. Issue four. Deflux, pretty good read. Doom Busters, guest starring Fantastic Four. Issue five. This one has the Punisher. Got some cool Dennis uh, Cohen artwork. Issue number six. Issue 7. Nice cover. Here's issue number 8. And these are all new stand. This one has a Ghost Rider versus Deathlock. Issue number 9. Roadkill. Okay, and you got issue number 10. This is annual issue number one. This is Time Stream, Death Luck. This is a uh, cover by Joe Quesada and Jim Palmiotti. And this is my haul. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Pick what you like and like what you pick. I'll talk to you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.